Hey guys, it's Courtney and this is a impromptu vlog type of vlog which might actually not get posted but it makes me feel better to talk to you guys so I'm talking to you guys about this matter um, so I'm getting my hair cut today and I'm getting a lot cut off um, because it is kind of giving me health problems like not like health problems but for work, I have to have my hair up every day, and it gives me headaches because my hair is really long and it's super thick, which I'm, you know, hashtag blessed. But, so it's really long, it's really thick, and so when it's up, it pulls on my scalp, on my head, and gives me headaches. Um, so I have to take, like, Tylenol or ibuprofen, like, every single day, and I know that's not good for my body and I just don't want to do that all summer because it's going to be really hot. So I am cutting my hair off and I want to show you guys how long it is and then I'll talk about what I'm going to do with it and take you with me. So here we go. So whenever I try to show my hair, I always end up wearing a dark color. So that's my bad. Um, but this is where my jeans are. So this is where my belly button is. So my hair is to my belly button at the moment. And it's going to get cut to like right here. So like where this band is basically. And. <sighs> but that's 10 inches and that's how much you have to cut off to donate to. I think it's locks of love. I don't know. I was Googling what I can donate where um, and how much and stuff. Because I do want my hair to kind of go to a good cause. Even if like it's shorter than I originally wanted it to be because my hair is really long and it's really thick and it's generally healthy. I don't dye it and I take pretty good care of it. So I would like to pass along the goodness to someone else if possible. But I'm just freaking out. So I'm actually going to go now and check Marshalls really quick because it's right next door and then we're going to just bebop into the salon and I'm using the Manny MUA palette on my eyes and I don't remember what shade this is hold on I'm wearing into the dark living room I'm wearing Raven Raisin on my lips from Wet n Wild and to match my burgundy pants not really I just like this color and I think I have like the purpley plum color I have Mars which is that middle reddish shade under my eyes and in the crease, like in my outer V, and it kind of makes me look like a vampire, and I'm so down with that. There is a giant RV outside my apartment, excuse you. Um, but I need to set my makeup really quick, and then I'm going to show you guys my outfit, and then we're going to go. So here we go. Okay, outfit of the day. So this is actually a shirt that used to be my sister's, and... It has a tie at the top, which is so, it's back in fashion, but I think I'm going to uh, sew this because it has a tie and the elastic right here that's supposed to keep it up, like in the back, is totally gone. Um, but this is made of like t-shirt material. It's super freaking comfy and it looks cool. So we're wearing it. I got some JCP jeans. I don't even know what kind of jeans these are. Arizona they had like color jeans on sale. I don't recommend these because they don't fit people who are short and They're not like super tight on my legs. So they look all slump. They all look all crunchy and weird and I don't know I'm not digging it and then I have some super simple comfy just payless ankle boots on and I have a silver fox bracelet that says forever on it. It's from one of my friends. Her name is Brie. And then I am going to wear my leather jacket, if I can find it, over this because it's freezing here in the north. So that's the outfit. We're going to go now to Marshall's. And I'm also meeting Zach for lunch after I get my hair cut. So hopefully he doesn't hate it. Hopefully I don't hate it. And uh, we're just going to hope, basically. Okay. So this is what we're working with. It's so short, which is not, this is not short, like in anyone's standards, but holy cow, I was there for an hour and a half. I love 
this haircut. Also, um, the guy that cut my hair, super awesome. Um, if you guys are in the Northern Michigan area, I can like, if you like DM me or something on Instagram, I'll, I'll uh, send you his name and everything. Um, so amazing. So amazing. He was so nice. He also added some more eyeshadow to my eyes because he was like, girl, you not blended. And he like did it. And I was like, that's what I was going for. <laughs> but oh my God, it was hilarious. He was so nice. And then, ah, just look at it. Okay, now I'm going to go so show Zach and we'll just see what happens. So, ah. so, ooh, that's messy. Let's look this way at the computer screen. So I went to Mad Sack for lunch, which I didn't film any of because we were in like a super public place and like everyone was already kind of like looking at me because he blended that purpley red all around and oh god everywhere. But um, I got the stamp of approval. The man child likes the hair. I like the hair too. Um, and the guy that cut it said I could come back for like layers or if I wanted it thin or anything. But I kind of think I'm just going to leave it like this because I like it a lot. So I do appreciate all of you who came up with me on this journey. And like always, you can hang out with me anywhere on social media. I am not normally this whiny. Um, that's all listed down below. My Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, and my Snapchat now, which will be flooded with hair pictures because it's short and lovely. And you can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And be your best friend. Hang out with me and see my face more often. And I guess I will talk to you guys all in the next video. See you guys on Tuesday. Bye, everyone.